right. Our task here is the portfolio for Unit 4 on constructions. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to record separate videos for each type of construction uh, so that you can go back over any particular one easily without uh, having to watch the whole video over again. There are four basic constructions we're going to do with this portfolio. One is bisect an angle. Two is conduct, construct a perpendicular from a point that's not on the line. And then three, construct a perpendicular through a point that's on the line. And then four, construct a line that is parallel to a given line. Okay. Now I'm going to modify the portfolio assignment just a little bit. Uh, it was called the wrapping paper assignment. Don't worry about the wrapping paper thing. Let me fix this here. Don't worry about the wrapping paper thing. That's not really the goal. The goal here is to do constructions. A construction is a geometric drawing that uses three items, or two items, just two items. Well, three technically, but two. It uses a compass, okay, and it uses a unmarked straight edge. Now, if you use a ruler, that's not a problem. It's just that you can't use the markings on the ruler to help you in your construction. It's a compass that is a circle drawing tool and a straight edge only. Okay, so that is what is what is used in a geometric construction. No protractors, so you can't measure an angle with a protractor, and you can't measure a line segment with a ruler. Okay, only compass and straight edge. That's a geometric construction. So the first first construction I'm going to do is we're going to, we're going to uh, bisect bisect an angle. Okay, so the starting conditions are we're going to start with an angle. Okay, so an angle consists of two rays with a common vertex, a common starting point called the vertex. The two rays are called sides. So an angle has two sides. Okay, I'm going to label this vertex A. Okay. Now, you need a compass, you need a straight edge, and you need paper in order to do this construction. But you can also, if you want to, I'm using Autodesk Sketchbook. It's free to download. Uh, and uh, you can use the tools that I'm using here. I'm using the ellipse tool, uh, which, which snaps to a circle tool, which is, makes a great compass. Okay, And uh, the, the ruler tool makes great straight edges here. Okay. So the ellipse tool kind of looks like a protractor here. If you double click on the size tool, it'll, it'll snap to a circle. Okay, I'm going to change colors for these compass marks. So I'm going to place the compass on vertex A, the point on vertex A. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a circular arc that crosses both sides of the angle. Okay, and I'm going to label. I'm going to label those intersection points. An intersection re reveals a point B and C. Okay, yeah, I've got some company here. All right, my cat's on the table. <laughs> so now I'm going to put my compass on B, and it's it's okay. You can leave the compass the same size the whole time. Or you can change it here. I'm going to change it just a little bit. And I'm going to make a mar an arc in, in the interior of the angle. Interior is the inside of the angle. And the exterior is outside the angle. So in the interior. Now without changing the compass setting, it's important that between the last mark and this mark, I don't change the compass size. Put it on C and draw another arc in the interior of the angle that crosses the previous arc. And you'll notice the two arcs intersect. An intersection determines a point. So there's point D. And then finally, I'll do this one in blue, we can construct our ray from A through D. A through D. Okay. So let me outline the the steps we did again. Okay. 
So I'm going to do this in white. Step one. Step one. I drew an arc, an arc from point A, the vertex. Okay. Step two, and then I marked B and C. Step two, I drew an arc from point B interior to the angle. So from point B, this was step two. Step three, I drew an arc from C, also interior, okay, and so that it crossed the previous arc. And step four, I drew a ray from A through D. Okay, so those are the steps. Okay, and look for another video on how to do the other constructions. The perpendicular from a point not on a line, the perpendicular from a point on the line, and parallel lines.